Indonesia is one of the most volcanically active locations on the planet and contains more than 100 active volcanoes. Yet, its neighboring country to the north, Malaysia, appears seemingly void of volcanic activity, or so you would think. Recent studies have confirmed that Malaysia does indeed have an active volcano which erupted in the last several thousand years. The volcano I'm referring to is known as Bombalai, which is the only active volcano in the entire country. Although it is poorly studied, this video will discuss this volcano and mention what its future hazards are. The Bombalai volcano can be found in far eastern Malaysia, where it is located just north of the border with Indonesia. Specifically, it is 15 kilometers north of the city of Tawau. Bombalai Hill is a 250 meter or 820 foot tall moderately sized volcanic cone known as a cinder cone. Cinder cones form from the eruption of intermittent amounts of lava and ash in what is termed a Strombolian style eruption. These cinder cones tend to erupt once and then never erupt again. Bumbalai Hill merely represents the youngest of several cinder cones in a much larger volcanic field known as Tawau Hills. In the last two million years, eruptions from this volcanic field has created six distinct cinder cones spread across an area of 320 square kilometers. The exact reason why this volcano exists is unknown, but it appears to be part of a small volcanic arc which includes two other volcanoes in the Philippines. I suspect this volcanic arc to represent a minor tectonic plate or a major fault line whose movement has intermittently allowed magma to find a path to the surface. The Tawau Hills volcanic field represents the westernmost section of this volcanic arc and is also its oldest volcano. It began erupting 13 million years ago when a significant volume of both andesite and dacite lava erupted onto the island of Borneo. Over the span of several tens of thousands of years, explosive eruptions built a gray stratovolcano to a height of 1500 meters. Eventually, a large volcanic eruption occurred, causing the southern flank of the volcano to blow out and collapse, releasing a large quantity of pyroclastic flows. Today, the remnants of the stratovolcano, called Magdalinda, can be seen via satellite, although it has since been highly eroded. Later eruptions built a separate stratovolcano known as Mount Andrassy to the south. Today, its peak is the site of a telecommunications station. Eventually, eruptive activity shifted to the north, thus constructing a series of three cinder cones from an underlying but now hidden fissure in the crust. These cones are known as Coin Hill, Bald Hill, and Mole Hill. The viscous lava flows can still be observed from the topography of Mole Hill, which likely erupted gray andesite. The most recent eruption from this volcanic field originated from the aforementioned cinder cone of Bombalai. Although we aren't certain how old this volcano is, it is older than 5,000 years but younger than 27,000 years, which is the age of a separate lava flow which underlies it. It formed in a single long-term eruption which produced two lava flows which headed towards the coast. Although this individual volcanic cone will not erupt again, the overall volcanic field will. The odds of a new eruption are low at approximately 1 in 25,000 each year. Such a new eruption would create a new cinder cone and long-distance lava flows which could burn large swaths of rainforest and destroy homes in a 16-kilometer radius. Using the U.S. Geological Survey method of rating volcanoes, the Tawal Hills volcano will be classified as a low-threat volcano. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.